The Orthrus incident in the Maya system happened just over 2 years ago. In this video we're going to talk about that incident and why it might be significant for current events in Elite Dangerous. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe. Remember to click the bell icon and select all notifications and to help further support this channel you can also join our Patreon via the link in the video description. I'll give you fair warning right now this video will be delving into some spoiler territory for existing events in the game. The first part is talking about stuff that happened 2 years ago. The second part will be talking about events from last week. I'll give you another warning before we talk about last week if you wish to avoid just that part. So 2 years ago on August the 25th 2019 Commander Mad King Haster jumped into the Maya system in the Pleiades sector and visited the Palin Xeno Research Institute on Maya A3A. The Palin Institute had been abandoned one month earlier as it was being subjected to attacks by swarms of Thargoid scouts. The aforementioned Terra Triffids presumably being upset with Professor Palin over his constant insistence on prodding, poking and let's be honest probably dissecting them. Instead of finding just the deserted base and the attacking Thargoid scouts however Commander Mad King Hasta instead was the first player in the history of Elite Dangerous to encounter an entirely brand new variant of Thargoid vessel the now legendary Orthrus Interceptor. If you've never heard of the Orthrus variant then don't be too surprised. It could previously only be found in that one location and at the time of recording it hasn't reappeared anywhere else. For those of you unfamiliar with the Orthrus incident here's what happened. Upon arriving over the Palin Research planetary installation Commander Haster witnessed the previously unknown variant of the familiar Thargoid interceptor running at considerable speed away from the Palin Institute opening a portal into witch space and disappearing. As you can imagine upon reporting their findings to the wider community the area was immediately swarmed with other commanders intent on sampling the Orthrus for science, engaging it in combat or just witnessing the event. As subsequent visits to the site continued a number of unusual observations about the mysterious vessel became readily apparent. At the time we reported on the Orthrus event I've linked that video as well to a couple of others from Commander Plater in the description below but here's a summary of what commanders were seeing. The most obvious feature of the Orthrus was speed. It was really fast. So fast that most commanders simply couldn't catch it. More on that in a moment. Secondly colouring. It was paler than the regular Thargoids we were seeing at the time and featured yellow highlights. It also appeared to have unusual nodules, markings or imperfections protruding from the front surface of its petals. The central cockpit design was also very different to the norm and in appearance it was somewhat oddly reminiscent of a human face. The two most striking features however appear when a Xeno scanner was used on the escaping vessel. The Thargoid graphic that appeared in the target analysis section of the scanning ships display contained the usual Thargoid styled image but with the word NO stamped over the top of it. And most intriguing of all the sub targets on the mysterious vessel alongside unknown drives also showed human components ...a power distributor, frameshift drive, shield generator and power plant. More odd behaviour was also observed from the usual Thargoid scouts in the area. Rather than targeting any human ships they were attacking the escaping Orthrus. Whilst there was still a lack of solid facts the immediate implication from the location of the event, the behaviour of the scouts and in particular the sub targets on the Orthrus is clear. This could be a human hybrid Thargoid vessel created by Professor Palin launched from his research facility and the Thargoids are trying to stop him and it. The elite community went nuts. If true this was massive. A couple of days after the Orthrus was discovered there was another player driven event. Commander Tater Chip arrived over the Palin Institute in a very fast anti xeno equipped crate Mark II. Previous attempts to engage the Orthrus had been unsuccessful. The ship ignored all attacks human or otherwise and simply jumped away. Tato Chip however had other plans for the Orthrus. 
His heavily engineered crate Mark II slammed into the top of the speeding horticultural horror and rammed it towards the planet preventing it from reaching its self generated wormhole. Whilst continuing to boost downwards the resourceful commander began emptying shards into the vessels 5 hearts manually working his way around the top of the umbrella like structure as it continued to attempt to move upward. With the unstoppable and constantly manoeuvring downward pressure however the probably now terrified laser lettuce eventually connected with the planet's surface. Now pinned and unable to escape Tado continued to pound on the panic pansy until the last heart gave out and well it died but there was no explosion, no cloud of caustic goop ...it just made all the right noises and then stopped glitched on the floor. Later on a week after it had suddenly appeared it was just as suddenly removed from the game. It was later confirmed by a, both a frontier community manager at the time and one of the developers that the Orthrus variant was actually never meant to appear in the game. The sad fact was that what we were seeing was essentially a slice of in development code that was accidentally released into the main game. Possibly a feature that was considered by Frontier but ultimately decided against. Not an unheard of occurrence in game development. Here's where we get into some more recent spoilers with regards to the Highfords cash event last week. I'm not going to go into fine details about the Highfords event but if you're still with us and you really don't want the punchline to that event spoiled then this really is your last warning. Still here? Ok. Fast forward to last week. Highfords cash unlocks and leads commanders through the next stage of the still unfolding narrative in the game. This particular thread covers the story of the super creepy and likely oh so very evil megacore Azimuth Biochemicals. Some more of their long held nasty little secrets are edged into the light and guess what? It seems like they've been working on and have had at least a degree of success in creating ...drum roll please ...a human hybrid Thargoid vessel. So what's going on here? Were the seeds of this story really sown and left to grow over 2 years ago until now only just reaching the surface to be harvested by commanders? Honestly while we don't know for sure I'm inclined to believe probably not. What I do suspect may have happened and this really is pure speculation that the Orthrus hybrid idea was tinkered with ...it is after all a fairly obvious plotline to pull on but then Elite Dangerous Odyssey development swept into the game. The narrative got shut down whilst all development resources were piled into that project and now the narrative having been sparked back into life with a significant degree more depth than it ever had before is following up on some dropped threads that perhaps hadn't yet been fully fleshed out. As things stand here at the pit we're really enjoying the narrative and storyline that now runs through the game. The Orthrus event despite being a mistake was still one of the coolest things we've ever witnessed in Elite Dangerous and this game is littered with cool things. If the two entities Plot and Orthrus are tied together and evolved we'd be just fine with that wherever it may go. Were you there for the Orthrus event? Were you even aware of it or is this all new to you? And where do you think the Azimuth story is going now that their dastardly operations near Barnard's Loop have been uncovered? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and maybe take a look at one of our other videos linked on screen right now.